Alright, so on Friday we're going to do Hooke's Law SDL to prove Hooke's Law, which is that the force of our spring is equal to the negative spring constant times delta x, or the change in our spring from equilibrium. So the first part of it is you need to graph what your spring constant, or your, I'm sorry, what your force will look like based on your delta x. So basically as your delta x goes up, what's going to happen to the force of your spring? So what you're going to do is you're going to take a spring and you're going to have to figure out a way of how you can either compress or stretch out your spring. There's a couple of ways you might do that, but you also have to be able to measure what the force is on this. So the best there are a couple ways to set it up. I think the way, the, one of the better ways to do it is you can take your spring, get a ring stand, and then you can attach your spring to this. So right now there's really, I mean, there's a tiny, tiny bit of gravity on the spring. Cause, you know, your springs are pretty light. But you can test how much extra force you're adding on them by hanging different weights at the end. So if this was a one kilogram weight, What's the newtons on that? What's the force? Hopefully you know to find the force of gravity. That one kilogram times it would be the 9.8, so this would be 9.8 newtons. Or you could do something very similar, but you can actually just pull down with your newton meter and also get different forces. So you can set up it a couple different ways. I'll clarify in the day of which I think is better after I talk to the other physics teachers. And then as always you'll need to write a justification on why this would be a good way and how you'll do it and why that would work. After that you are going to actually make this graph. So be prepared to find enough values to make a solid graph. And after you make this graph, use it to calculate the spring constant. So you're going to want to solve for the spring constant. This part, we want to move everything over to solve for x. So you can divide the force of your spring over delta x is equal to k. Oh, hey, look. Your F, this is going to be your rise, and then your delta X ends up being your run. So your K is essentially equal to your slope. So if you're watching this, I'm not really going to help you on this, but hopefully this lets you know how to solve for Hooke's Law and try to prove that this indeed does work. Alright, see you guys Friday.